Hi. I thought I'd come today with a slightly different uh, video. And to be honest, I was a little bit nervous actually at first. I don't really get nervous on video. Normally I talk about a therapy related topic or, or a coaching topic. And the um, reason I got nervous is because I actually uh, wanted to share about my art. Um, obviously I share that regularly in terms of posting about it. This is the first video I've ever made about it, though, aside from my, you know, um, uh, uh, time-lapse videos and, and so forth. I've never actually talked about it before. And so I just wanted to kind of share a little bit about it so you understand kind of where I'm coming from and, and um, how important it is to me. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been a lifelong artist forever. I remember, you know, sitting on the floor when I was young. Uh, well, my mom got her hair cut and, uh, you know, sketching. Trying to sketch what I saw. You know, I went through all kinds of... Uh, art courses and programs growing up and you know it's just always been this incredible passion kind of an, an, an incredible aliveness if you will peacefulness a joy it's really hard to describe now there was another part to it though growing up like i, I went you know i went through i had some amazing teachers um I think my my skill level and my love of art blossomed that much more in high school under under, under the tutelage of a couple uh, instructors in particular. I went on to college and you know did went into fine arts full course load way too much I was way too stressed out at the time. Um, and uh, it learned so much, grew in so many ways. But there was a part that felt so not good enough. It's come up in many areas, obviously. But um, I really couldn't handle criticism. And I really, you know, I was so hard on myself. I, you know, I'd make what I would consider a mistake. And I'd rage quit on my work. So I had this love-hate relationship, essentially. And a few months before I was set to graduate, it was after a few uh, critiques that I just, of course, took to heart as criticism. Looking back, it was everything that was said about my work was correct. But at the time, I didn't know that. And so I actually, I, I quit, you know, four months before graduation. I did paint professionally for a few years, early in my marriage, my wife, my ex-wife and I together. Um, but I didn't really know how to build a business and it's certainly a lot of work I hadn't done yet. Anyway, I ended up uh, quitting art for 15 years about, about give or take. And uh, you know, I, I, I was adamant that I'm not an artist. It's crazy now to think back and this is what I actually said. But I, I, I tried to throw out everything you know, luckily, uh, my ex-wife had kept a couple, a few pieces of my work very specifically. So that was very important. And then several years ago, after not touching anything, not a, not a pencil or nothing for years, uh, my daughter, who I think she was, I don't know, maybe, I can't remember how old she was, but, but several years back, um, she, she's uber talented as an artist. And, uh, you know, she's, she's turning 18 year, this year. Um, she has a very, you know, uh, brilliant career ahead of her. And it was because of her and the rest of my family, my boys and, and my ex-wife, that uh, they, they encouraged me. I can't remember what it was exactly. I think it was like an, a, a, a drawing program, like a, a drawing challenge, like a different topic each day kind of thing. I think, that's what, I think that's where it started. So I got back into it and, of course, fell back in love with it. Realize that yes, I am an artist. But for the f first few years of getting back into it, I would still rage quit. Not as much, um, but it still happened. And, you know, I certainly didn't want to throw things out or, or anything like that. But it was over the last couple of years of doing much deeper work, 
that I've talked about in lots of videos and so forth, that that rage quit part has pretty much vanished. And now the process of creating it's just that it's the process of creating. If I don't like something, I just move over here and work around it, come back to it, and it changes. And so for me, having been a lifelong passion, this is something I'm very, um, it's just in me to create, to to inspire. And, and a lot of my work, as you can see, is based on what I do in my, my uh, therapeutic coaching practice. So working with deep emotions, working with, awakening if you will but also you know just things of beauty pets animals things like that so if you're watching this i would absolutely love your support as i grow this side of my business the art the art side anybody any art collectors art buyers art lovers um, anybody who you know likes buddha images or animals or is, is curious about us as human beings and would appreciate my style of art. I have a very unique style that way. Um, I'd love your support. So I'd love, uh, uh, you know, for you to share that out. I'd love for you to follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Um, anything that, that, that can help expose that art to the people that would appreciate it. So with that, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.